Hi everyone, welcome to Pentacool Math Mania. Today, we will be using math as our superpower to learn about converting meters into centimeters. Today, we're going to learn about the relationship between meters and centimeters. Both are units to measure distance and length, and we must know how to represent the same length in either unit. Elijah wants to help his friend Zion understand how to convert meters to centimeters. He starts by showing him a meter rule. As its name suggests, it has a length of one meter. Observing the scale, we can see that there are 100 centimeters on the ruler. This is because one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Elijah wants to make things easy for Zion. He tells him when changing meters to centimeters to multiply by 100. If a rope is three meters long, what would its length be in centimeters? Zion follows his instructions and multiplies three by 100. He notes that the rope would be 300 centimeters in length. Sometimes measurements are represented in a combination of meters and centimeters. Not all lengths give perfect measurements in meters. For example, Zion's height, according to his parents, is 1 meter, 54 centimeters. Elijah challenges him to represent this height in centimeters only. Zion is unsure of what to do. Elijah gives him a hint. If one part is meters and the other is in centimeters, Try to represent both parts in centimeters. Zion looks at both parts of his height and decides to change the one meter to centimeters. One meter can be converted to 100 centimeters. This makes his height 100 centimeters and 54 centimeters. He then adds these to get a height of 154 centimeters. Can you represent the length 2 meters and 67 centimeters in centimeters only? We change the 2 meters to 200 centimeters, then combine the 200 centimeters with the 67 centimeters. This gives us 267 centimeters. Zion asks one more question. He asks how to change centimeters to meters. Elijah then explains, since we multiply meters by 100 to convert to centimeters, if we want to do the opposite, meaning changing the centimeters to meters, we must divide by 100. For example, changing 900 centimeters to meters, we divide the 900 centimeters by 100. This gives us nine meters. Thanks for visiting Math City today. I hope you had fun learning. Try the Pentacle exercises below to earn points and win great prizes.